the box here at the top has the equation. Um, notice that there's no triangle. We're not going to rearrange anything. Um, it's easier just to plug things in on this one and then simplify from there. So we have the one equation. Your kinetic is always going to be joules, capital J. Mass is always going to be the kilogram. And velocity will be the meter per second squared. So again, the units are set just like they were um, you know, with our, our Newton and our um, force and distance. So, um, so we're going to look at um, what the question is asking for. Is it, we have three options, kinetic, mass, or velocity. We're going to circle what we're solving for. And then we're going to underline the information. And then we're going to plug that information in. Notice here it says plug the numbers into the KE formula. Keep simplifying until you get the unknown on one side by itself. So don't work ahead. Stay with me. Don't be working. Um, there's another big hint here. It says after you have simplified as much as you can, if you're solving for the mass, the way we get rid of the one half is to multiply both sides by two. If we're trying to get velocity by itself, because we don't want the square version of it, you have to find the inverse of that, which is square rooting. And so whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So we square root both sides of the equation. So we'll look at this, but again, it's adding an extra step that we haven't had yet this year. <laughs> you guys are so good at the um, simple equations that you shouldn't have, I don't think we'll have any trouble with this. But again, it is an extra little step that we haven't had up until this point. Oh, dang, I've changed my settings. Hold on, hold on, can't write. Um, so take a look in the first problem. Go ahead and identify, it says, what is the kinetic energy of a 150 kilogram object that is moving with a velocity of 15 meters per second? So in that problem, Stewie, what are we solving for? Good, so circle that. <laughs> Uh, Michaela, give me a piece of information that's given in that problem. Good, so underline that. Come on, there we go. And um, what is the other piece of information that is given? Charles, what else is given? All right, so let me catch up. Come on. No. It's not very friendly. It's not. It's getting real <laughs> All right, so we're solving for kinetic energy. These two are given. So my mass is 150, my velocity is 15, my kinetic is my great unknown. So I'm going to fill in Ke equals one half mass times v squared. From there, I'm going to plug in. All right, I still don't know my Ke. That's what I'm solving for. I'm going to find one half, and this is where I like to put it in parentheses. If you want to, you can. If you don't want to, I just think that it keeps this together, and then my V is 15 squared, right? So, I again, I think the parentheses help to kind of make it where, you know, the mass is separate <coughs> from the velocity. <clears throat> so, the first thing you're going to do is you can either divide 150 by 2, and I'll do, <coughs> do it down here. If you have 1 half, Parentheses means you're multiplying. It's like you have 150, you can put that over 1, you get 150 over 2. Or, if you prefer, you can think of taking 150 times 0.5. Whichever is better for you to think of, you're getting the same answer. What is half of 150? Good. So I'm going to put that simplified answer here. I'm going to keep bringing things down. Ke comes down, my equal comes down, my 75 comes down. 
my multiplication sign comes down, and then what is 15 times 15 or 15 squared? Okay. So, one final step. What is 17, or 17, ooh, 75 times 225? What'd you get, Stewie? 16,875. 16,875? Yeah. Okay. What are my units gonna be? This is energy, Will. Right, so capital J. Once we get to half mass and the velocity squared, what do we do after that? Make sure you bring this, you bring that answer down. So bring the one half of 150 down, and bring your multiplication sign down, and bring your 15 squared down. So we're going to keep working our way down. Let's look at number two. Okay, an object has a kinetic energy of 25 joules and a mass of 34 kilograms. How fast is the object moving? What am I solving for? And again, it doesn't come right out and say our variable in that problem, but what's it really mean? Abigail? <laughs> Very nice. How fast, which is our Velocity. All right, so uh, Breeze, give me a piece of information that's given. Uh, Good, and which one is that? Mass. Good. And what else do we have, Anthony? What else is given? Good, 25 joules. All right, so now I'm going to use the same equation. KE equals one half mass times V squared. Now I'm gonna start plugging things in. Oops, my KE is actually 25, and I know that, so I'm gonna fill that in. So 25 equals one half, my mass is 34. I don't know my V, and I have to make sure I still keep squaring it at this point. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start simplifying. I can't do anything with the 25, so I just bring it down. What is half of 34? Okay, so again, you can either take 34 divided by 2 or, 32, or 34 times 0.5, if you want to think of it as the decimal. Either way, and if you don't trust me, put it in both ways, and you'll see you still get 17 either way. So that gets simplified, we bring that answer down. We still have to bring down our multiplication and we still have to bring down our V squared. Now we're at the point where we need to try to get velocity by itself, right? So what, what do I do in algebra if I'm trying to get something to go away? Yeah, and we call that the inverse, right? So we're gonna do the inverse. So if this is multiplication, What's the inverse of multiplication? What's like the opposite operation? Division, but this time you want to go up to the fraction so I don't keep it up. Okay. You got it? Are you caught up now? But what's the formula for what what this is? The kinetic? Yep, we'll have it right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah? Or no? We're on the right column. I don't know. You are guys are on number two, right? We're on number two. Okay. I'm, I'm on number two now, so. Let's okay. If it helps to look at breezes right there, it's easier with it closer. Okay, so you guys, Dylan just told me that division is the inverse, right? It's the, the opposite, basically. So if I would divide, that turns the 17 divided by 17 into one, right? So basically it's, it's getting rid of that. But whatever I do to one side, the rules or laws of algebra say I have to do it to the other side. So our goal, we're still trying to get velocity alone. So if I remove the 17 by doing the inverse here, and I do it to this side as well, when I take 25 divided by 17, what do I get? 
Okay, I'm gonna move everything over here just for more room. So I have 1.5 is what my left hand side turns into. And I have basically one times my V squared. Well, anything times one is just itself. So am I done? What do you think, Cade? Yeah, I think the square root of 1.5. Okay, we want velocity all by itself. We don't want the velocity squared. The question didn't ask for squaring the, the, how fast you went. So that means we have to get rid of the square. And if you look at that hint at the very top of the page, it says if you're solving for velocity to get rid of the square, the inverse of squaring is the square root. So if I take the square root of this side, I end up with just v by itself. If I take the square root of this side, what do I get? We put that in. 1.2. Is everybody with me on that? Okay. And so if my velocity is 1.2, what are my units always going to be? Good. So again, it's a few more steps, but you just have to take it step by step. Keep working your way down. Plug in what you know, keep simplifying. Then you think, okay, I need to get the variable I'm solving for by itself. So I divide both sides by 17. And then to get the V by itself, I have to get rid of the square. Inverse of square is square rooting. And so I end up with 1.2. Again, I get that it's more steps this way you know, doing, or doing this equation. Okay, number three. An object is moving with a velocity of 35 meters per second and has a kinetic energy of 15 joules. What is the mass? Okay, so as I look at this, what am I solving for? Um, let's see, Emily. Trying to figure out what we're solving for? Trying to figure out number two. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna do some more practice ones. Um, but where where are you stuck? So you, the thirty four is our mass. Okay, so that turns into seventeen. Is it where you, this step that confuses you? So we need to solve for velocity. We're trying to get velocity by itself because that's what we're it's asking us to find, right? So. We need to get rid of the 17. And the only way to do that is to do the inverse. Well, here it's saying we should be multiplying. So the inverse of that is division. Okay? And so we're going to take 17 divided by 17. And But if we do it to this side, it's only fair. We have to be equal and do it to the other side also. Does that help? Good. Okay, so then um, what, what do you see here? We'll come back to you on another one. Audrey, what are we solving for in number three? <laughs> okay, so mass is my great unknown. And let's see, Cheyenne, give me the two things that we're solving for, or that we're given, I'm sorry. Um, okay, and what else? Good, so the 1500 is gonna be my kinetic energy. The 35 is gonna be my velocity. I do not have a triangle or a way to rearrange this, so I'm just going to take my one half mass <laughs> times v squared, and I'm plugging in. All right, I do know my kinetic, so I'm going to put 1500, and I'm going to take my one half m because I don't know my mass, so I'm going to just leave it as a variable. I know my velocity though, and it's 35, and I can't forget to square it. Sometimes people forget the squaring part. So now I just start simplifying. I can't do anything with 1500 yet. I can't do anything with one half my mass yet. So I'm just gonna square my 35. So what is 35 times 35? 1245. 1245? 1225, okay. Um, okay. So if you look at the hint at the very top of the page, when we're solving for mass, what does it say to, we have to do to get rid of the one half? What do we have to do, Rory? Multiplication. 
Yeah, we're going to have to multiply both sides by 2. Here's why. If you think dividing <coughs> by half, if we do the inverse of dividing by half, it's multiplying by 2. Because if we multiply by 2, it's like putting 2 over 1. 2 over 2 times 1 and 1 times 2, that all reduces down <laughs> to 1. And you don't have to do this, I'm just trying to show you. But if I multiply both sides by 2, multiply by 2, 2 times 1 half changes this to 1. So I have a mass 1 times my mass. Bring this paper, we will finish up tomorrow. Do not work ahead, it's not homework.